Peter Obi is coming like a wildfire to the villa, says Doin Okupe. Hey guys, this is the DJMTV Daily News update. Ahead of the 2023 general election, Dr. Okupe Doin, the Director General of Peter Obi presidential campaign, has said Peter Obi is a movement and is coming like a wildfire to the Aso Rock Villa in 2023. Dr. Doin Okupe made this clear in a video we're about to watch when he said some of the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party governed state has presented a hostile playing field for the Labour Party. He said this while making comments of how the All Progressive Congress government of Nasarawa state did not give them access to the venue that the Labour Party was supposed to use for their kickoff campaign and still went ahead to declare Saturday 29 as a sanitation day, which has never happened in the last seven years in Nasarawa state. While also reacting, Dr. Okupe Doi, the Director General of Peter Obi campaign, said Peter Obi is a movement and Labour Party is coming with a revolution and nobody can stop the movement because it is his time to come. And when it is the time of a particular movement, it can't be stopped. Let's watch the video. We'll be right back. And therefore, you know, in consultation with, you know, elders in Yoruba land, some elders in Yoruba land, including, you know, Chief of Basonjo, Babadi Banjo, and a host of others, I'd say that, look, I will drop my ambition and I will support an Eastern candidate. And the best of them all was a Peter Obi, who I even consider, you know, was much, much better and will do better than I could ever have done as a president. So mm. I supported him. What we're seeing, you see, in life, the only thing that is permanent is change. And you know, God has a way of effecting change. Mm. You know, what you're seeing is a transmot transformative stage of a fairy fairy. What appears today to be a dispute will be a watershed in the life of a fairy fairy. Watch, um, you know, watch my lips. This is not going to create a major chism in Yoruba land. The Yorubas have, you know, an you know, an inelastic capacity to test our tensile strength again, once again, as a, as, a, as a race. But we're going to get out of this. I, I imagine, I mean, I am, I support a very, very 100%. But I'm not going to say because I am supporting Peter Obi and then, you know, Yorubas must split. No, you know, we can follow... I'm a Christian. You know, you can follow the, the examples of Christ when he ran into this type of situation. His disciples said, oh, some people are eating food that has been sacrificed to the gods. You know, it is not right since we are Christians. So Jesus, what did Jesus say? He said, if you don't feel offended by eating the food, eat it. If you feel offended by, it, by eating the food, don't eat it. But do not let your differences cause a division amongst you. This is my plea for Yoruba people. You know, if anything happens, will you be, do you understand? We have, to, we have to be brave about it. And I went by road, you know, for the, you know, I rode in a bulletproof car. I've never done that before. Do you understand? You know, we went with about three loads of policemen and all that and all that. That's one. Number two, Nasarawa turned out to be, I, I mean, I didn't want to say this proud, but for this question, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's a, it's a game, no problem. Politics is a game, and is, I'm the last person that should, com that should complain if somebody serves me a good shot. You know, in Nasarawa, we were served by the ruling party or ruling government a good shot. You will not believe it that we did not get the final permit for the landing of the helicopters of, the, of our principals until the morning, that Saturday morning, you know, of the rally. That's one. Number two, the venues, I sent 22 member, you know, uh, advanced team. But for 48 hours, they could not do anything because we could not even get permit among the three or four various venues we have, we have chosen. You know, the government was not available to give us permit. But for the intervention of some very high level royal people, you know, in, in, uh, in uh, Lafayette, mm -hmm. that rally would not have held. Then the master blow that they, they dealt us with was in Nasarawa for the past seven or eight years. Nobody has ever heard of environmental sanitation. But government for, from nowhere on Thursday 
declared that Saturday an environmental sanitation day, declared a curfew the night before on Friday. I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. And that nobody can move until 10 a.m. on Saturday. So it was impossible. The people you saw there were the people we managed and struggled, you know, and, you know, and our, uh, uh, what do you call it, support groups, you know, brought together from Lafia and from Lafia and environment alone. Ninety percent of our supporters all over the state could not get access. They could not even come, you know, because I mean, some people are living three hours away, some two hours away. You know, they will not be able to leave their places until ten. And on Friday, they were not, you know, they could not go out in the evening. Mm. So all those things happened. But we give glory to God. Mm. It's a, it's a beginning because we may eventually resolve them. I'm a mature person. You know, because we will go behind and say, look, gentlemen, we can't do this to ourselves. But it's happening, as I'm telling you. Even there are, there, you know, I think I got a report last week that some of our world meetings, you know, are being, uh, uh, people are being chased away and prevented from holding world meetings in some states. So, but you know, we cannot, you know, we cannot, we are not going to complain. We're going to find a way to do it. We are coming with a revolution. We are coming with a movement. We are coming with a tsunami that nobody has seen in Nigeria before. All these petty, petty shenanigans cannot stop us. You can't stop, you know, a, a, you know, a movement. You can't stop, you know, something that is time has come. An obedient movement and obedient presidency is an, you know, in the inevitable eventuality that Nigeria must come to terms with. You can't stop it. So those support groups who on Friday night, you know, haven't seen the, 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 the problem of mobilization, went all over the place to get, to get their, their people to come out on, on Saturday. I will not lie to you. I have talked to my peers, you know, people that I went to school with, people, giants of industry. Who are Yoruba people? And they tell me, doing, you're the only one who can do what you're doing. As for me, I don't care. Bola Tinubu could be uh, anything. But I'm going to back him all the way because he's a Yoruba man, you know, fair and square. They tell me that. It's not based on competence, it's not based on integrity, it's not based on anything. But, you know, and we're not fighting. I mean, they, you know, they tell me openly that, you know, this is what we are going to do. Do you understand? And they are rational people, very intelligent people, very successful people. They're not taking, some of them, you know, they, they, are, they will not even pass the front gate of Bola Tunumbu. But they're saying, you know, he's a Yoruba man, I am going to back him all the way. You know, let me tell you, let me tell you on this set, whether you like it or not, I know that people are going to vilify me for this, but I will always say the truth. This is the first time in the history of Nigeria, in recent history of Nigeria, that a presidential candidate will be, will come from, I mean, will be, come from Igbo land, a president candidate will come from Yoruba land. A president candidate will come from the north, northern Fulani, excuse me. And you think ethnicity will not play a role in this thing? He must be kidding me. Welcome back, guys. This is still the EJMTV Daily News update. So here we have it. We've heard from Don Yokupe, the director general of the P2B presidential campaign. He has said that the Nasarawa state has served the Labour Party a good shot. Um, the venue that we were supposed to be giving out to them for the kickoff campaign, we are not giving to the Labour Party. And also, the government has declared environmental sanitation on the day of the kickoff campaign, which has never happened before. Some persons have gone on the social media to say that if it was the PDP or the APC that was campaigning on that particular day, the environmental sanitation wouldn't have been declared. But Don Yokukwe has said, Peter Obi is a movement and it is coming as a tsunami and also it's a revolution that nobody can stop. He has said again that a P2B presidency is something that Nigeria must come to terms with. So guys, what are your thoughts and comments? Do you believe in the Labour Party's revolution because they said they are coming with a revolution that nobody can stop? He said once the time of a thing has come, nobody can stop that thing. What are your thoughts and comments? Share them with us in the comment section below.